Hey, thanks for coming to the channel. Today I'm going to go over how I made this chain link fence. I got 18 gauge, I believe, galvanized steel wire. And I just stretched it out. It was a little more difficult than I anticipated, but I got it done. After I stretched it out, as you can see here, I put it down on my uh, cutting mat so I can get the right size. The actual size of these um, post and horizontal bars is actually one and a half inches. Here I think I'm cutting it at one and a quarter. And then a few of them are cut at one and three quarters inch for the uh, post that sticks into the actual layout. And after I cut those, I had to uh, grab a file and, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, just grind it off some of the uh, burr once it's being cut. And there's, you know, nothing fancy about that. Just, again, filing off some of those burrs so it's not to hurt yourself. And so after I did all that, I um, laid them out. Some of them are bent a little bit, and I think I left some of them bent on purpose because I didn't want it to be a perfect looking fence. After that, I grabbed just a few of them. I didn't do all of them. These are just for the vertical post that will actually hold the barbed wire on top and I was kind of just eyeballing it and bending, excuse me, bending them at which I believe could be a 45 degree angle. Again, I was just eyeballing. I wasn't really taking too good of a measurement with that. I would look at one end and make sure it was pretty much the same on all of them and just start bending them. And so after that, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what's going on here. Um, I had that tacky putty stuff and I just used my uh, cutting mat as a guide with the blue lines there and just stuck them down on there, made sure, you know, they were in right position or what I felt was the right position. Again, this is my layout and your layout is totally different. You can do, you know, however you want. But I just laid them out, made sure the uh, bend that I made with that 45 degree angle on the uh, vertical post was sticking up. And now I'm just getting prepared to uh, solder them. And so, I didn't use anything special, just my regular soldering gun that I use for just about everything else on my layout. And just the solder that I'm using has flux in it already, so I didn't need to flux the actual chain or the fence itself. Um, and it held pretty good. Um, my soldering skills aren't the best, but I think it worked for you know what I'm trying to achieve here and as you can see I try, had to straighten some of them out just so it wouldn't be too crooked and there it is um, surprisingly this is a really solid um, fence it is very sturdy um, it just turned out pretty decent I did file off some of the um, solder though. And here is the uh, toll, I think that's how it's pronounced, that will be actually used for the chain link. I just made sure I cut it to the right measurements and super glued it onto the frame. <clears throat> and here it is. Um, I didn't go over a couple other steps because they were really difficult. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. You guys have to excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, and it's not the Rona. But there's a few things I took from this. Um, I think I used, I don't want to say the wrong glue, maybe too much glue because you can see in certain spots where 
the glue was actually like very white showing. Um, here it is on a layout. And so I did clean it up a little bit. And it looks a little better on a layout. But again, I think I'll try a different glue, a different super glue and see what other results I get. Cause I do want to make more of these. The uh, barbed wire on top, I use um, 26 gauge wire and just used my drill and twisted it together. And then I just super glued that on top too. Um, again, those were steps that were very time consuming and a little more difficult than I wanted. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned, subscribe and all that good stuff. Peace.